Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most unfair movie battles. For this list, we'll be looking at movie skirmishes where one side had a significant advantage, whether through cheating or just being a much more powerful foe. We'll be discussing plot points, so a spoiler warning is in effect. If you think we missed a great unmatched fight, let us know in the comments. Now let's get to the list. Number 10, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Blasting onto the screen in 1954, Godzilla has been thrilling audiences for more than half a century. In this modern take, Godzilla goes up against Monster Zero, aka King Ghidorah. As powerful as Godzilla is, a single lightning blast tips him over, with the king still standing. Ghidorah's multiple heads serve as a triple threat, giving him an immediate three-on-one advantage. Even as Godzilla powers up his atomic fire, Ghidorah still bests him. Had it not been for the military's own ground and airstrikes, Godzilla may have been lost in the depths of the ice. Number 9. The Comedian vs. Ozymandias Watchmen Just a matter of time, I suppose. Can't an old retired superhero just kick back and have a drink and enjoy his night? From the moment the comedian's first gunshot hits the TV instead of his target, you can already see the end coming. Ozymandias effortlessly matches every kick, punch, and knife thrown at him. The comedian is easily overpowered as his foe tosses him across the room and eventually out the window. Honestly, he never stood a chance. Ozymandias knew that the comedian threatened his plan and came knowing that he could take him on. In this scene, he shows just how far he'll go to keep his plan on track. Number 8. Batman vs. Bane – The Dark Knight Rises You fight like a younger man. There's nothing held back. Those words perfectly describe why Batman never stood a chance against Bane in their first encounter. Under the streets of Gotham, Batman's anger drives him forward in an impossible fight against the city's latest criminal. Bane's upper hand lies not in his physical superiority, but his restraint. In a less is more display, Bane takes his share of punches, but when he retaliates, he does so with intention. Batman expects to win, whereas Bane knows he will. Not because he's the better fighter, but because Bruce underestimates him as being just another thug in a long line of mismatched opponents. Oh, your money! Number 7. Harry Potter vs. Lord Voldemort Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. It only took eight movies, but we finally got here. In the final battle of the series, we see Harry come back from the dead to take on Voldemort. With both the Elder Wand and Immortality on his side, the deck is clearly stacked in Voldemort's favor. Even a resurrected Harry Potter stands no real chance. It's only when Neville succeeds in decapitating Nagini and the final Horcrux that Voldemort becomes vulnerable. With Voldemort now mortal, the battle is over within seconds. Had it not been for Neville's actions, the fight would have ended quite differently. Come on, Tom. Let's finish this the way we started. Number 6. Iron Man vs. Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Captain America, Civil War. He's my friend. So was I. <laughs> From the comics and the trailer, we knew a fight was coming. And boy, did we get it. Upon learning the truth about his parents' deaths, Iron Man initiates this battle with a quick backhand to Cap's face. However, while Tony puts up a good fight, taking on both Captain America and the Winter Soldier at the same time was a mistake. When you take away his tech, Tony's brilliance can't match Bucky and Steve's brute force in a showdown. Both are military trained and genetically modified. The proof is on display as Tony sits on a cold floor with his arc reactor smashed. 
Number five, Morpheus versus Agent Smith, The Matrix. When Agent Smith gets his hands on Neo, it seems like game over. After all, as Morpheus explained, no one has managed to defeat an agent before. But then Morpheus decides to burst through the bathroom wall and grapple him. Any initial hopes that Morpheus could win this fight are quickly squashed. A single punch to the chest sends Morpheus flying across the room. Smith counters every kick, punch, and headbutt thrown at him, all without breaking a sweat. As an agent, he's a program running in the Matrix without human limitations. Cheater! Then again, Neo's fight with Agent Smith later on was also pretty lopsided, except in Neo's favor. Number four, Superman versus Batman. Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. Do you bleed? In one of the most anticipated comic book fights of all time, the last son of Krypton was overpowered by a businessman in a metal suit. Sure, at first Superman seemed to have the advantage as he effortlessly tossed Bruce across the roof. But Batman had come prepared, knowing Superman's Achilles heel. The Cape Crusader may be an ordinary man without superpowers, but his use of kryptonite more than leveled the playing field. Armed with a kryptonite-tipped spear and kryptonite gas, Batman proved that even the Man of Steel has insurmountable limits. You were never a god. You were never even a man. Number three, Maximus versus Commodus, Gladiator. You would fight me. Why not? Do you think I'm afraid? I think you've been afraid all your life. Commodus makes sure that it isn't a fair fight. Seeing that people favor general turn gladiator Maximus over himself, Emperor Commodus decides to challenge Maximus directly in the arena. But he knows that Maximus is a better, more experienced fighter, so he cheats, stabbing his opponent before the fight. Talk about bad sportsmanship. As if that wasn't enough, he also sneaks in a hidden knife. In the end, Maximus does win before dying of his wounds. But regardless, this was definitely far from the fair fight that Commodus made it out to be. Who will help me carry him? Number two, Luke versus Darth Vader. Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. At this point in the Star Wars timeline, Darth Vader's had 20 plus years to master the dark side of the Force. While Luke Skywalker holds his own early on, it soon becomes clear that he's completely outmatched. Not only does Vader have superior lightsaber skills, his telekinetic Force powers leave Luke reeling. Sure, his show of force might not be as immediately overwhelming as when Sidious feeds off Rey and Kylo's bond, but it ends with Luke losing his hand and soundly defeated. Ultimately, Skywalker's newly acquired Jedi skills are no match for a master of the dark side. If you only knew the power of the dark side. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions where the odds were clearly stacked in the other guy's favor. Gypsy Danger and Striker Eureka versus Raiju Scudder and Slattern Pacific Rim. The odds here definitely favor the monsters. Steven Seagal versus anyone under siege. In his heyday, Seagal was a force to be reckoned with. T-Rex versus Spinosaurus, Jurassic Park 3. Our favorite dinosaur is felled all too easily. Judge Dredd versus Mama. Dredd. Dredd is the law. Defense noted. Jake LaMotta versus Sugar Ray Robinson. Raging Bull. Jake never stood a chance against this legend. Robinson versus Sugar Ray. 
hurting LaMotta. He's hurting him now. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Avengers vs. Thanos. Avengers Infinity War. Cap, that's it. Eyes up. Stay sharp. We all knew it was coming, but we never expected it to turn out quite like this. As Thanos emerged from a cloud of smoke, Captain America led the remaining Avengers toward their greatest adversary. But no Hulk buster armor or genetically altered super soldier ever stood a chance of defeating Thanos once he got his hands on the Infinity Stones. All it took were a few waves of the Infinity Gauntlet to turn away his opponents. Even Vision's sacrifice was in vain, as his stone was easily recovered with the turn of Thanos' hand. In the end, just a snap of his fingers proved to be more powerful than any superhero. You should have gone for the head. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.